Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, live and in color from Central Texas, USA, on a cold Wednesday morning. Uh, it is the day after yesterday and the day before tomorrow, commonly known as today. Uh, anyway, hey Google, good morning. Good morning. The time is 6.58 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 35 and partly <coughs> cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 59 and a low of 35. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Miss Google. That was her contribution. We've got more to come. Uh, what else? Hang on. I got me a little temperature gauge outside now, and I can see that the temperature here is 33 degrees exactly, so it varies a little bit between here and town, not much. And uh, hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 19 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. Cold, cold. <clears throat> hey, Google. What's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte, it's currently minus 40 degrees <laughs> God almighty. Ow! God almighty. Minus four. <laughs> you! That's cold, dogs. Anyway, yeah, I've been in that in Mongolia. I was in Ulaanbaatar. Yeah, it got down to like minus 18 Fahrenheit. Hello, world. Anyway, uh, what else? Hey, uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. How do you get rid of butterflies in your stomach? Stop eating caterpillars. <laughs> Let's hear another one. It's a funny. How many introverts does it take to screw in a light bulb? Why does it have to be a group activity? How many introverts does it take to screw in a light bulb? Why does it have to be a group activity? Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to some comments, Rusty. Okay, let's do that. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll do a video later today. I mean, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do on videos because, you know, uh, you know, doing videos about RVing, I mean, if you check my playlist, you'll see that I've done everything but inspect the bearings, you know what I mean, and uh, to pull the roof off. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do everything related to RVing that I can, but otherwise, it's just going to be fun stuff. <laughs> can I come up with some good stuff? Oh, I'll do some real classic stuff. Anyway, I'll show you some of the stuff I've bought. Anyway, we'll just have fun. You know, it, it, believe me, there, there's enough negativity around. If, if people want to be negative and feel bad, folks, you're in heaven. You are in heaven in this world today. <clears throat> you can you can just sit around and mope and talk about misery till you get sick of yourself. But you're not going to do it here because old Rusty will weed the garden. Anyway, Peggy Bagley, get back home. Talking about my driving video yesterday on which RV should you buy. Peggy Bagley says, get back home, enjoy yourself a beer. 30. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. And it was a nice afternoon, actually, even though it was a little cool. Not bad. Here's old Tim Baker. Hello, Tim Baker. How you doing, bud? There's old Tim right there. Can't you see? <laughs> anyway, he says, okay, I've got to ask, who lives in Bangor, Maine, and Butte, Montana? I don't know a soul there. I never have. I've never been to either one of them. It's just pure random randomness. <clears throat> that's all a lot of people ask that question uh, also they want to know why the Google home device doesn't say good morning rusty well the reason is for some reason the Google uh, home app on my phone won't let me go to that place to put in my name and I called them and they're working on it you know what that means don't you they're not doing anything <clears throat> Little T08, hey Rusty, what kind of driver's license do you need in order to operate a different class motorhome? Will class C work for all motorhomes? As far as I know, I mean, I can't believe it, but it is. I mean, some of those motorhomes are 40 feet long and you hop in it with your operator's license and away they go. I see people 80 years old doing it all the time. <clears throat> so, you know, you'll have to check with your state to be sure. Dertrixa. Great drive. Der Trix is from G Germany, Germany. Great drive. Keep up and thank you. Greetings from Germany. Well, greetings from Central Texas, USA. How are you doing, sir? Prost. Prost means, uh, you know, like, let's have a drink or something. PJ Bikerful. He's got a good comment on the driving video. 
he says welcome to all new subs and rusty's rangers <clears throat> let's go for a drive with episode 357 with the casita loving pizza chomping bluebird ice cream gobbling chocolate covered almond munchin mofo honorable grandmaster legendary charismatic and world-renowned golfer the man the myth the legend the one and only your golf man from central texas knowing all wizard head and word spewing knowing all of wizard head and word spewing storyteller swiveling master sergeant rambling rambo rusty yo <laughs> with that introduction i don't have a thing to say anyway uh, oh this is it up here doesn't give them anyway there's my bananas got some fresh ones and there's olive oil's bra <clears throat> anyway thank you pj biker full for that lovely introduction you didn't flower it up a little bit did you you know if, if you've ever gone to lectures or whatever and they introduce somebody well they have to give them credibility or else you know why in hell are they there you know and they, uh, you know they'll tell you everything about every book they've ever written or every article in the, uh, they've ever written you know if they're, if they're if they're a phd or you, know, you can introduce them as doctor so and so boy that's big stuff <clears throat> you know if you go to a a party at a university all you hear is doctor 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 anyway tracy phillips great driving video rusty thanks for the information you are welcome carry on Xenia 360 hello rusty i took delivery of my 2018 casita 17 foot spirit deluxe in february of last year it is a great travel trailer but the only disappointment i've had with it is the damn rivets on the roof that hold the upper cabinets when traveling they have a tendency to break and will drip into the trailer when it rains huh well i hope mine don't do that they haven't done it yet when uh if anyone is thinking of buying a casita this is something you have to keep an eye on thank you again for all the entertaining videos rusty stay safe and all the best well thank you very much zini i'm gonna keep my eye on them <laughs> take my eye out and stick it on them anyway all right let's go rebel m hello rebel m oh rebel m hi rusty after much looking i finally found my rv dream machine an earth roamer an ev everything i want and then some the problem new price is one half million or five hundred thousand dollars i did find one used at two hundred fifty thousand lol back to the drawing board cb okay well just a matter of cash huh there's Dutrixa again. What's going on on the north? He's, he lives on the North Sea in Germany. The temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's windy and a little rain. Do you use a hydraulic jack? I think those jacks are the best. Greetings from Germany. Yes, I do have a hydraulic jack in back of my pickup, which I will use for changing flat tires on anything that has a flat tire. And it's very easy to use. <clears throat> and it's much safer than the, using any other kind of jack that I know of. Thank you, Der Trixa. Trucker Nation. Hello, Trucker Nation. Those yellow Mustang ads and Lincoln could do better burnout than that. I guess it, I got something ads on my stuff about that. Pano Taker. Pano Taker. If you don't have a ton of money, get a trailer. If your truck breaks down, anybody can fix it. If you get, an, get a motor home, first of all, not many places work on them. They are expensive to fix and expensive to tow and store. How about that? That's from Pano Taker. Uh, I didn't get one for a lot of those same reasons, but that's up to you. If you want one, you get one. Uh, Paul Harrington, your outside shower will be great on your new cement pad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good anywhere. I've got a, a little pad that I can put down in the mud or dirt and stand on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go, man. <clears throat> I got that stuff. Here's old Tim Harris. Tim, what's going on where you are, dude? It, Folkestone, it's, it, this is the Folkestone weather report. No, I'm just kidding you. Folkestone is small, but we have the Satilla and St. Mary's River both go in and out with the tide. And the Okefenokee Swamp Park around Thanksgiving and the old homestead, they have a cane grinding. It's worth looking into. Okay, Tim Harris, there's a Folkestone ad. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lola Mail 888. Hello, Lola Mail. Which RV? Rusty, great information, and you totally hit the right spot. Boom! Living in a tiny space is the biggest issue people have, and I totally agree that renting one to try it will be the best bet. A lot of people don't realize the amount of space you're losing once you switch to RVing. Privacy in another if you have partners. Well, you can go outdoors if you need it, LOL. Adding to that is being a minimalist helps a lot. Beautiful weather and beautiful drive. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Lola Mail 888. And here is Teresa Carlisle. Not many of you know Teresa Carlisle, and I don't either. <clears throat> but she's here. You funny, strange, and amazing, no drama kind of guy. They don't make you, don't make like you. They don't make people like you anymore, I think is what she means. Anyway, you're right, Teresa. We're one of, all of us are one of a kind. In some cases, we say, thank God. And in other cases, we wish there were more of them. <clears throat> Me, my cat, and I am. Uh, this is a shout out to the working guys. It says, thanks for opening my eyes to the fact that all outdoors work is not a piece of cake. Honey, or sir, or whoever, it ain't. Well, if the weather's nice, it's not too bad. But I have worked outside and had ice on my mustache and ice in my hair. And, uh, yeah, it's it's cold. I mean, I've, I've worked in sleet, snow, and not snow, only sleet, sleet. And that was in Texas. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't too fond of that. Wind blowing and then drizzly rain. No, 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 no. But it was a job. Stuart, Stuart. This is on the RV stabilizer. Interesting. I found the built-in scissor jacks very convenient, especially with all electric drill to raise and lower them. So far, I've not had any clearance issues with the jacks. If anything, I'd worry about the low-hanging waste dump pipes. Uh, well, actually, I don't worry a hell of a lot about much. <clears throat> I took them off mainly because backing into my onto my concrete pad now is a steep climb and I've only got about that much clearance of the jacks and also I noticed that when I was going in and out of gas stations uh, I heard one of them drag so that problem is solved and uh, that's just the way I do things <clears throat> and yeah the the the, uh, the jacks with the electric drill yeah that, I like that too I thought that was kind of cute zip zip but the only trouble was my little uh, 12 volt electric drill wasn't all that powerful and it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Anyway, Randy Wyrick, I watched your video from last November where you were moving from the 26 footer to the 16 foot Coachman Clipper Cadet. You had a ton of stuff laid out on your concrete deck and I mean I did. I did. If someone viewed that video for the first time, they would bet money you were a hoarder, lol. It's, it was hard to believe that all that stuff fit inside your camper. You downsized big time. Yeah, well, I had to downsize to get into that 26-footer, you know. So, anyway. <clears> TT <throat> says, what tools do you carry in your RV when traveling? Well, I have a little tool set, a socket set. I've got a jack, a hydraulic jack. Uh, I've got a uh, electric uh, air pump thing uh, that's a LED rechargeable. Uh, as far as other, just you know, the normal tools you'd have. I mean, I don't carry a, a lawnmower and stuff like that, but I mean, that's not really a tool. But just the basic tools, you know, I carry a little tool set with you know the basics, you know, half inch, three quarter. I've got some uh, uh, whatever fits the the nuts and bolts on my equipment. Basic stuff, man. Uh, David, a crescent wrench is handy and pliers are great. David Wischanuski, Wischanuski, I'm not pronouncing that right, I'm sure, but I got close. Most RVs are crap. Avoid buying one made in Indiana. Well, you're probably telling the truth there because most of those are owned by the Oracle from, uh, where, what do they call him, the Oracle from Iowa or whatever. Yeah, I can't think of the name of the company. But anyway, Terry Mosley. Thanks for some good info. I am looking at small trailers because my Ford Escape won't pull a casita like yours, which I too love and would love to have one, but I can't afford to buy another vehicle and trailer too, not at the same time. I've been looking at the 13-foot Scamp and the A-Liner Escape and maybe the Tab. 
but all I have seen of them is online. Hopefully, we'll be selling my sticks and bricks house soon. Uh, yeah, they're, they're around. Go check them out. Go get in one and see what you think. Because if you're going to sell your house, that means you're probably going to be going full time. We'll do a few more. Bama boy, good job, Rusty. Appreciate the information. You are welcome. James Key, working down the road from you. Pass you on the highway every morning. Uh, you do? I don't go at the same time. Work all over and need something like this as long as it is has a potty and a shower i'm fine tired of living in my truck out of town uh yeah james get you a, a rv it won't, you'll enjoy it tim harris uh so if you decide to go on an adventure grab your camera and take us with you well don't worry wherever i go you're going i mean <laughs> you're all i got <laughs> you're you're my dream family my imaginary friends Joyce Barnett, another great driving video. Again, had lots of great info. Thanks for sharing. Uh, this is Papa and the Bandit RV Life. Hey, Rusty, new subscriber here. Good input. Thanks. Happy trails, Papa and the Bandit. Well, hello, Papa and the Bandit. Welcome to uh, Rusty78609 channel and uh, enjoy yourself and uh, all that stuff. Glad to have you with us. Me, my cat, and I am great information, or good information, thanks. John Spoden, uh, howdy, Rusty. You're the most realistic channel out there. You've been living this longer than anyone on YouTube. I bought a house again, sold my van after four months of dealing with weather, dirt, and boredom. You're smart with a home base. I got a Toyota minivan now. Works great for short trips. It's always great to get back home again, though. It's super scary to wake up in the morning in a vehicle having burned all your bridges. Security, home is a good thing. Yeah, home base is a good thing. It's true. I agree with you. Elisa, you mentioned women's outfits. Good Lord, I must be a man in my old age because what's important to me is what is comfortable to wear. More than anything else, any long worn clothes are more comfortable too. Clean and comfortable words to live by for me. Yeah, that's me too. I'm in the comfort. I found this shirt. I found two shirts yesterday. Now how they were buried up in there. I just crammed them in there when I got the R or when I moved into the RV. <clears throat> I found these two and I hung them up, so I got two new shirts. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, here we go. I'll read part of this one because I'm trying to finish these. Elisa, do you like humus as a dip? I've never eaten it in my life. <clears throat> uh, Scotty Thompson, uh, it may be great. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Cool comment, Coid. Uh, call uh, Scotty Thompson. What Android operating system do you, as your old you phone use, Rusty? I don't, I don't know what operating system it has on it, Scotty. The latest version of, of uh, or close. It, it's I don't know. It's up there. John Gertbach, Casita Channel for you, Rusty. He's got a link to a Casita Channel. Thank you, John Gertbach. Gertbach. Scotty Thompson. Cool video, Rusty. LOL. Thank you. That's all the comments. Hey Google, tell us a joke. Why was the cheetah so bad at hide and seek? No matter where she hid, she was always spotted. I wonder where they come up with that crap. Anyway, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this exciting rendition of Comment Call. <laughs> oh, I feel good, man. I feel good. I feel got my breakfast ready. I'm ready to go cold outside i'll probably go walking in town at one of the stores but anyway having said that guys thumbs up carpe diem adios bye 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 anything you want but use the link in the amazon or use the link in the description of all my videos the link to amazon products uh it doesn't cost you a penny if you use it uh what else uh Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout. Kidney stones, it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that lowers stress, which lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Do something. Exercise your body once or twice a day. You'll never regret it. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Oops, right there. A door of your mind. <clears throat> Don't let negative thoughts in. Just let in the positive stuff. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, the new things we've added called frontal lobes a few million years ago, which allow us to be what we are today. And what else? Uh, 
that's it guys so yabba dabba do and all that stuff enjoy your day enjoy your wednesday i may play golf tomorrow but anyway adios amigos bye bye